Ji Choka Lingam is with us as well. Choka, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here. Uh, what did you make of the numbers, the auto numbers? Uh, you know, it's quite mixed. Uh, Bajaj Auto continues to suffer. We saw just 2% year on year growth. Mm. This is what I've been saying. There has been a major structural change in the two wheeler space ever since Honda Motor started, mm. you know, standing on its own. Mm. Already captured one fourth of the market share and uh, launched a fourth plant. And in fact, they have got a very aggressive expo the production target of 26 percent, and the industry is expected to grow in single digit. So, therefore, companies like Bajaj Auto and Hero Motor would continue to suffer with a single digit growth, if not uh, degrowth. So, therefore, I would not be aggressive. Ashok Leyland specifically, stock uh, you know, was at a 52 week high. Yeah. Numbers were about 10 percent lower than what was expected. Yeah. But it's largely in price, you know, this is what I've been saying, uh, you know, the commercial vehicle uh, business in this country is highly cyclical, mm. whereas a two-wheeler is quite smooth in relation to commercial vehicle. Yeah. So, we have seen it last 20 years. So, I would not uh, pay, you know, around 30 PE for uh, Ashok mm. Leyland. Mm. Uh, unless it corrects another 10-15 percent, I would not uh, recommend Ashok Leyland. Mm. Pangas, TVS was in line? Uh, Prashant, TVS was slightly better. Hmm. So, 2.37 lakh units is what was expected. Two and they came in at 2.43. 2.43. So, just marginally better. Scooters hmm. continue to do well. Scooters was up 20%. That has been the driving number. Uh, so, that was essentially the takeaway. Overall, decent set of numbers. But there, the worry is, how will the margins come in? Because numbers are coming in, but margins on a YOY, QOQ basis hmm. are not really expanding. Okay. All right. Uh, let's just start. Uh, Go across to Hina, and she's got an eye on many stocks with specific news flow. So, Zeelon, uh, Treehouse, there was a merger with, there's been some issue. Punj Lloyd uh, is going to pay a fine, Bharti Airtel and some others as well. So, we've got some news flow. Uh, Hina, go on. Good morning, Prashant. So, let's start with Zeelearn as well as Treehouse. They'll be in focus because, uh, you know, they will not really be proceeding. So, Zeelearn will not proceed with Treehouse's merger agreement, not to go ahead with the agreed share exchange ratio. In fact, they would be reconstituting the merger evaluation committee. So, that's why this stock, both these stocks, in fact, will be in focus today. Punj Lloyd will be in focus because the UK court has ordered the unit to pay a fine of about $26.2 million to IFC. Uh, it is evaluated evaluating various legal options as well and will take appropriate steps. UK court has also ordered uh, this particular unit to pay about 75,000 euros as assessment cost. Then you've got Bharti Airtel that will be in focus because, uh, you know, the board will be meeting on 16th of June to consider subdivision of shares. South Indian Bank will be in focus. Uh, uh, before that, you have Kajaria Ceramics board to meet on uh, the 16th of June for the payment. Bharti Airtel, I beg your pardon. So, Bharti Airtel Airtel will be in focus because they have appointed Shashi Arora as CEO and MD of the Payments Bank. Uh, when it comes to South Indian Bank, they will be raising about 500 crore rupees from Basel 3 compliant bonds. And lastly, you've got Jyoti Labs where Henkel is likely to invest in uh, Jyoti Labs. So that's the news coming in. That's where this one will be in focus. <coughs> Joka, uh, Zeelan in this treehouse merger business? No, this is a good lesson for the retail investors. Mm. The treehouse is uh, down almost 80% from the peak mm. you know unfortunately a lot oh, of after that this when they announced the merger right once it got corrected before that it was trading at uh, as high as uh, you know 500 yeah so 470 was a peak mm. you know in fact uh, you know we people also go through a lot of pressure because after seeing stock like a uh, tree mm. house going to 470 some of the people approach us mm. why can't you find such stock mm. I always say that you know uh, you don't get attracted just because the price is moving up so this is a one good example Look at uh, March results also pathetic. Mm. And uh, you know, the thing is, they have a real business treehouse. I mean, yeah. it's, it's visible. It's on the ground. You can go visit one of their centers, and they've got a large network. All of that is fine. It's but not getting reflected. If you see the March quarter results, yeah. March quarter results turnover is down very badly. Mm. And in fact, uh, the tangible assets have gone up substantially in FI16. Mm. That's not yet uh, reflected in the business top line at all. Mm. In fact, the poster losses. Mm. So, therefore, uh, you know, the one, I mean, it's very unfortunate for the people. I know personally also some of the mm. retail investors who lost AVL in Treehouse. Mm. It's very unfortunate, but at least they should take it as a lesson. Mm. It is good for Zeelearn. Mm. I mean, uh, not going through this merger is, uh, in my view, is good for Zeelearn. Z. Okay, all right. Uh, Choka is with us here. Uh, and uh, we also have Gaurav Bissa joining us, a derivatives analyst with LKP Securities. Gaurav, good morning. Good to have you in the conversation as well. Gaurav, uh, quick thoughts from you on the market. Uh, how are things looking? How are they set up? A bit of correction? 
Good morning. Uh, I would not term it as a correction. Uh, we have seen uh, 500 points uh, rally coming in a matter of a week. And if we fall down by about, say, 100 points, I would not say that it's a correction. It might be a dip. But uh, if you look at a couple of factors, one uh, very strong breakout about 8,000 levels, uh, lack of uh, shorts, substantial short at these levels, I think uh, the dips will be utilized to go long again. Around 8050, it's a good level to again uh, go long uh, in the market for people who have missed on the rally. Uh, there's a possibility that they may again come back to the market. So I would say it's better that if Nifty consolidates. That is what we also expect some pressure, some consolidation of 100 points here and there, and then again heading towards 8250 or 8300 kind of levels. You know, correction, fall, dip, drawdown, call it what you want. But the point is, uh, 500 points and a bit of cool off, one more adjective, <laughs> uh, is maybe necessary, is important before the market uh, takes off uh, once again. One way or the other, I think. Otherwise, uh, you'd have a bigger fall later. Uh, 20 points on the uh, Sensex, 26,693. You've got the Nifty, which is... Uh, going to start about 20 odd points lower as well. Choka, aggregate market, you think, will continue to do well broadly? Oh, de definitely, that's what I've been saying. You know, external front is improving, mm. and uh, even in case new governor comes, you know, he can focus more on growth rather than inflation. Mm. The only oh, you're bringing in the new angle of the new <laughs> governor. <laughs> I hope uh, you know uh, any governor who cares more about growth uh -huh. uh, would be my choice okay. rather than inflation because the in global deflationary pressures have not uh, eliminated fully. Uh -huh. So that's my firm view, which I've been saying for the last one and a half years consistently. Okay. Uh, also, the monsoon. Mm. Uh, now, this morning we saw the news that IMD forecasts onset of monsoon from June 7th. Mm. I hope there is no further delay of one or two weeks. Mm. That can give a temporary jittery to the market mm. in case there is a delay further. So you're uh, you're in the camp uh, with uh, Mr. Subramanian Swami? No, I am not uh, <laughs> neither in Rajan <laughs> nor in uh, Swami's camp. <laughs> Okay, all right. Just in terms of view uh, on the on, on this issue, essentially, 40 points lower on the Sensex, uh, and the Nifty is uh, starting lower, about 13, 14 points. ICICI Bank is down about a third of a percent. Hindalco is down 0.6. BHEL starts down 0.4. Adani Port, by the way, which has come up from uh, under 180 to 200 plus very quickly, is in the green. Uh, Asian Paints is down 1 percent. Access Bank is down 0.6. Sun Pharma is up a quarter. Tata Steel is down 0.17. Uh, so, auto sales, Bajaj reported earnings down about a quarter percent, 2597, 2595. Hero reported earning, uh, numbers for the month of May down 0.18. TVS was a little better, as Pankaj was telling us earlier. It's up about 1.7, 1.8. Tata Motors was the other one which uh, reported sales, 448. Tata Motors, of course, reported uh, JLR sales, retail sales for in the US as well. Uh, uh, then, uh, let's look at Coal India where, you know, after last month's dip in the month of May, uh, production has actually grown, 297.6. Coal India also had a large move day before yesterday, I think. Z is up 5.5%, so 30.5, and we look at Tree House as well, which is down 1.3. Let's look at Henkel, uh, sorry, Jyoti Laboratories, uh, quickly. Uh, so, Jyoti is, uh, in the pre-open, was showing a meaningful move after reports that Henkel is going to invest in the company. 10 or 11 odd percent higher on Jyoti Laboratories. 311 uh, is where Jyoti Laboratories stands. Uh, quickly put up Ashok Leland as well from yesterday. I mean, the stock was, uh, was, was strong for a while and then kind of sort of started losing ground by uh, a fair bit. It's turning blinking red and green. 104.5 on Ashok Leland. So not yet decided. The Nifty is down and Sensex is up. So, obviously, very small change uh, in terms of start that we are seeing uh, at this point in time. Okay, anything else in terms of stocks? Uh, Prashant, Jyoti Labs, as you pointed out, it's uh, doing well. So, talks of investment via yeah. Henkel. Anything else? It's up 10. Suzlon is up about 2 odd percent. HSBC has maintained its buy. Mm. So, that's a name which is doing well. South Indian Bank is to raise about 500 odd crores. It's up about uh, 3 to 3 and a half okay. odd percent. Mm. TVS Motors has added on to gains. So, it was up about 1 percent. Now, it's up close to about uh, 2 odd percent. Gokuldas Export, it was up 20% day before, 18% yesterday. It's up another 2% right now. So from levels of 80, it's gone to the levels of 104. Uh, Zlearn, Treehouse, of course, we saw Zlearn has called off the merger. It's up uh, 5% uh, at uh, this point of time. NBCC was up uh, yesterday by about uh, 3%. It's up by about 2% uh, uh, right now. Uh, as uh, uh, right now as well. As far as some of the losers are concerned, 
So Pungeloid is down 4%. We told you about the fine that they are likely to pay. Biocon is slightly correcting after the move that it has given in the last few days. And PC Dwellers is uh, down about uh, 2 to 25 percent Yesterday, some of these names did decently well. Uh, laboratories, Shogar? It's very interesting. Uh, there are two comments I can make. Mm. Uh, one is that if it is true, it can be uh, kept in the curriculum of MBA students mm. because Enkel started on its own, struggled mm. for almost nearly two decades, mm. they could not turn around, mm. then they sold it to Jyoti Lab mm. and now if they take stake in Jyoti Lab, it clearly proves that you know it's a case study mm. where the Indian entrepreneur could do better than mm. time-tested uh, European uh, you know, the, mm. uh, company. Mm. But second point, this is already in price, it's not cheap stock mm. and already we heard such rumour but it did not materialise. Mm. So I would advise caution, rather I would uh, sell the stock now mm. and uh, take the profit out because the valuation wise it is certainly too costly. Mm. Josie Laboratories, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> okay, so seven and a half, actually why don't we try and uh, call up the management of Jyoti Laboratories quickly, ask them if they have a comment to make uh, on the uh, subject uh, so that uh, we have. So that is Jyoti for you. Choga, you wanted to uh, comment on ITI? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm happy that uh, you are taking up this kind of, you know, small cap where there is a bubble. Mm. I have been tracking this company for more than 20 years. Mm. See, it's not able to make operating profit. Even uh, for FY16, operating loss is at 10% uh, of the sales. Mm. The point is that uh, year after year, the government has been pumping money through grants in aid. Mm. And, uh, you know, these grants in aid are, you know, shown as other income or extraordinary income, therefore suddenly robust to profit. Mm. So actually it's a reward for inefficiency mm. by the government mm. instead of shutting down, you know, pumping money through grants in aid. Mm. And stock market is also rewarding in terms of 20% upward freeze yesterday. Mm. So definitely, you know, it has to do more with, you know, the floating stock. 90% mm. is held by government, only 10% is in the market. Mm. So I would advise caution. Definitely, you yeah, know, who's valuation. Who's buying these stocks? I mean, you think these are speculators just driving the stock no. up? I've not heard any uh, retail investor ever. No, what happens? Unfortunately, mm. many retail investors, mm. any, you know, they start picking up the stock when they start moving. They don't mm. look at the funders. Mm. So when the momentum builds up, there are many people jump in and then start buying aggressively. Mm. You know, that's what happened to Treehouse also. Mm. So that, that, that's unfortunate. But if valuation-wise, uh, it's not worth at all. It's a huge losses, accumulated losses not able to make any profit at operating level mm. and without government support uh, the company would have been shut uh, long back. Mm. So such a level of inefficiency. Mm. Uh, Gaurav, any thoughts on the open that we are seeing? Anything you'd uh, recommend doing straight off? Uh, for the index, I think uh, it would be wise to write 8,300, 8,400 call options because if you buy puts, the kind of uh, volatility that Nifty has been showing, I don't think uh, it would give a good case to go long into the put options. We had recommended 8,000 put options to our clients, but it did not work that well the way we, we were expecting it to. So it is better to write uh, out of the money call options, primarily work on uh, uh, the time value, and if Nifty falls, uh, that would be even. Uh, helping it more, getting the profit. So I think uh, writing option would be make, making sense. Okay, In t uh, any stocks you'd want to uh, put trades on, Gaurav? Uh, well, uh, we have recommended a work hard format our clients and uh, if, if not uh, in the futures, one can even buy a uh, thousand strike call option that looks very lucrative trading around 930 932 uh, we expect 970 kind of levels coming in in next few trading sessions uh, we are short on the jet airways that is looking weak uh, there's a possibility uh, there's a great chance it may go towards 550 kind of levels so one can either buy a 560 put option or sell at these levels anything else work hard anything else uh, we we are uh, a little bit long on Adani course as well. Uh, so we've seen a decent amount of jump uh, yesterday also. But uh, if it sustains 200 levels, then yes, there would be quite a few amount of uh, uh, buying interest can be seen. It can again handle towards 210 kind of levels. Core India among the larger players, I would say Core India, if it sustains 300, uh, one can expect 5 to 8 percent jump coming in. So about 300, we would be recommending to our clients as well. Uh Okay. Uh, Choka, any thoughts on uh, Adani put back above 200? Will it go anywhere or will it... Uh... No, uh, below 200, it's a good buy. Mm. Uh, because as I've been saying, uh, despite the degrowth in the in India's exports, and the, both imports and exports, mm. and world war, world, uh, the global trade taking a big hit, the company has done reasonably well. It has been impacted only by the leveraging issue. Mm. That's why the valuation multiple was not good. Mm. 
but uh, to some extent that is in price. So I would uh, give a buy in case it falls, uh, you know, below 200. Coal India, of course, I've known that you like the uh, yeah. stock. You like in fact, uh, that's one of our uh, topmost uh, pick. Hmm. Uh, I com absolutely believe that uh, you know another two years, if this can give a special dividend, hmm. the government balance sheet is not going to improve substantially. Hmm. Uh, partly it was helped because of the oil price crash. Hmm. We saw the way the fuel duty, fuel on uh, duties on fuels were hiked. Hmm. But now the oil price has bounced, so that might not be that kind of uh, benefit to the government. Hmm. And uh, therefore, I firmly believe that uh, at least two more special dividend would be there. On the, other, on the other hand, the fundamentals also improving. We saw recently price hike. Mm. There are reports of uh, in, you know Indonesia cutting down coal output, China cutting down coal output. So in my view, the internationally also the coal prices have bottomed out. So therefore, I firmly believe that uh, you know Coal India is one of the attractive stocks in the large cap space. Mm. Uh, let's just look at a couple of other stocks as well, which uh, are in focus. So. Uh, Treehouse, etc., Jyoti, etc., we spoke about. Tata Metallics is up 5%. We'll put these stocks up. So, Tata Metallics. MK is up 7%. Uh, so, we spoke with Purinju from Kochi yesterday. Purinju uh, Veliath, who runs Equity Intelligence of PMS. Uh, in the block deals, uh, there was uh, data that he's bought some shares in MK. I mean, enough to show up as far part of the block deal. NBCC, which was up 3%, is up another 3% right now. Arcom, 5% uh, yesterday, up another one and a half now. Uh, and uh, Cadilla, which opened flat, is now down about 2 odd percent or so. Uh, so, IMS, which is an industry body, uh, their data showed that Cadilla has lost some market share in the US and some key products. So, uh, that is Cadilla for you. Long list there. Arcom, Choka, again, trading play. Yeah, for trading play, we, one can hope another even 10-15% uh, from this level. Mm. Uh, you know, till you get the news on this uh, tower sale, uh, there is some op uh, optimism in the stock for the traders. Mm. So, definitely one can uh, buy it for uh, short-term uh, gain. Okay, can buy it for short-term gains. Uh, I mean, told that we have, uh, we're getting the management of uh, Jyoti Laboratories in the phone line. Okay, Mr. Olas Kamat is with us uh, from Jyoti Laboratories. Mr. Kamath, thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate you joining in. Uh, so, the news report and business standards saying Henkel might invest in Jyoti Laboratories. Is it true? Uh, it, it is only likelihood, but, but it is, uh, as of now, you know, it's just an option what they have, which I will give. Everybody are aware of that. That option window is open from 1-4-2016 uh, till March 2017, and that is a fact. Uh, at this point in time, uh, you know, like window is open for them to invest is uh, what they, when they asked the question, I told them, and that's the fact. No, so uh, somebody obviously from there has approached you, right? With, an, with a, not an offer, but I'll not interest, be able basically. to comment on that uh, because uh, it is not fair on my part. Unless it is done, uh, nothing is done. Uh, so uh, it is just that window is open for them to invest in Jyoti Labs. And that's the fact uh, is what I can confirm at this point in time. You had acquired their uh, subsidiary, Indian subsidiary in 2011, right? That's right. 2011, we acquired their entire India business operations. We acquired, and at that point in time, uh, you know, like they wanted to stay in India for with some stock uh, in Jyoti, which we said that we'll do it after five years. And that's how the option agreement came into the picture when we agreed uh, to acquire their 100% of interest here. And that's how uh, we gave a back-to-back -back option for them after five years. What, uh, you know, so I list uh, the news report also. The report that I'm quoting from is pretty specific. Your stock is at about 300 rupees. Uh, the report says Henkel is said to be contemplating picking up a stake in Jyoti at 500 to 600 rupees a share. No, it's all speculation only and nothing of that sort which we have told. It's a speculation uh, by the, you know, like analysts and the reporters. And nothing to say about it. Right. Uh, but can you at least confirm that uh, you have, uh, we should put a question mark there, please. Henkel to invest question mark. We don't have that confirmation. Uh, sir, uh, so, but you can at least confirm whether an approach has been made, right? They've approached you. The fact that the window is open is, uh, is uh, you know, like it is, it is some legal, uh, you know, like agreement and the option is open for them. Uh, it's what we can confirm at this point in time. So, you are saying that so far the window was not open to them under the terms of the agreement that you guys signed. Oh, yes, yeah. Now that window is open, right? That's what you're saying. And uh, and it's a one-year-long window. And the fact that it's a one-year-long window is means uh, for negotiation. What, what do you mean it's a one-year window? What happens after because one year? 
No, because otherwise they'll lose that option before March 2017. If they do not exercise before March 2017, they lose that option of investing in Jyoti up to 26%. And uh, it is the window was closed for four years. We acquired the business in 2011, and we opened the window after five years, one for 2016, uh, and up to 2017. That means there will there is requirement of you know like a, a, a negotiation between both the parties, uh, and that's why uh, the one year window has been kept. Okay, all right. Uh, I mean, if you do get an approach, you'd be you you'd be open, right? Absolutely, because it is in interest of both the they want to be in India, and the viewer are uh, definitely looking for uh, more products. Uh, and there is a reason uh, both the uh, companies have agreed because there exists uh, beautiful synergy. So their FMCG major in the world, and uh, uh, we are reasonably doing well in FMCG in India. And uh, what we need is a product range, and uh, what they need is footprints in India, and that's where the synergy exists. Uh, is, uh, I don't see any comfort. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, uh, as he clarifies, it is very clear that there is nothing uh, new development. Mm -hmm. The window is already there. Already we heard this rumor mm -hmm. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, I would not go by the rumor and uh, suggest to buy. Rather, one can uh, book profit because valuation-wise it is highly stretched. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, if it happens, Mr. as Ka I said... Mr. Mr. Kavad, what would be the right valuation which would interest you? What do you think? I will not be able to say that, please. It's not fair on my part to talk about that. All right, got that. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for coming on and uh, talking to us about this uh, matter. Thank you. That's uh, Ulas Kaman, uh, the top boss at uh, Jyoti Laboratories, saying that they'd be interested. But, you know, the point is, <coughs> this, in a way, he did suggest that he'd be interested. I mean, if there is an interest from Henkel. But the point is, uh, he, he did he'd refuse to kind of sort of uh, confirm or deny whether there's been an actual approach which has been made. Or, uh, and it kind of seems, this business standard story seems to, to be like a story based on the fact that, well, the window has opened now. I mean, so they have a one-year window and now it, it's kind of open. So, but the story doesn't have any confirmation or anything that uh, they will be interested uh, in going ahead uh, from Henkel or from uh, Jyoti. But uh, you heard from the management right now. 301.5 is where the stock is. Okay, any other thoughts? But no. Markets, I mean, overall? Yeah. Any, any specific stocks? Yeah, certainly. Radar? I mean, um, um, as I said, market, uh, you know, I, I remain bullish. Maybe, you know, uh, the July, there could be small correction when uh, Fed hikes are rate. Mm. And uh, or in case uh, monsoon delayed by a week or two, then there can be little jittery. But otherwise, I remain optimistic. I can talk about a couple of stocks. Uh, one is a uh, Moil Limited. Personally, also, I hold. Uh, yesterday, wow. yeah. yesterday we saw the government, uh, you know, the, as per the media sources, asking the POCs to go for a bonus splitting of shares and a dividend. So they have issued the four criteria, and Mile is the only PSU which fulfills a three out of four, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of a possibility of hiking the dividend, giving buyback bonus share. Mm -hmm. And uh, fundamentally also, 80% is the cash as compared to the market cap. Mm -hmm. And uh, post-March, they have increased the prices of manganese ore. Mm -hmm. So that is one stock. Second stock, based on the results, uh, KCP Limited. Mm -hmm. Uh, the sugar business in Vietnam has done phenomenally well. Uh, it has increased uh, the profit by more than 75% in uh, Vietnam. And uh, consolidated EPS around 7. I am expecting uh, the consolidated EPS to go up to as as uh, 10 uh, in, uh, in uh, one year forward. And that is a stock I pitch as a multi-bagger in the long term because they've got a huge uh, surplus land in Chennai. Uh, there is a possibility of unlocking because now that uh, engineering division which has got the surplus land is making losses for the last two years. So it makes sense for them to either convert as a logistic business or uh, you know, unlock real estate uh, value. Uh, good management. So th this is a second stock uh, I would uh, suggest. Third is uh, Jammu Kashmir Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, what, why I got attracted to is that uh, you know this is the only PSU bank among the results I have seen, uh, which has posted 12.5 percent growth in the credit. Mm -hmm. After the surge in the NPA and losses at the bottom line, many PSU banks have even posted a degrowth in the credit. Mm -hmm. So this is the highest credit growth, higher than the industry growth. And also, second unique fact is that uh, it is at a 30% discount adjusted book value. So there are all other large POC banks are available at a two to three times adjusted book value because of the surge in NPA. So these are the three stocks I would present. I believe in them. Uh, Jammu and Kashmir Bank, MOIL, uh, and KCP Limited. Limited. Uh, are you expecting uh, anything on Moil in terms of cash outgo or buyback Certainly, or anything? I, this something? is the only PSU, I don't know, it doesn't listen to the government uh, suggestions. Mm. You know, they always stick to a very small uh, dividend. Mm. 
and uh, so much of cash. I mean, cash is close to 3,000 crore, which is 80% of the ma market cap. So yesterday, we saw the government uh, guidelines as per the media source that, uh, you know, they have to give, pay 5% of the net worth as a dividend. Mm -hmm. Right now, they are paying only 2.5%. Mm -hmm. And also, the government has suggested that, uh, you know, companies which have got uh, more than 2,000 crore net worth or more than 1,000 crore cash mm -hmm. should do buyback. And this company has got nearly 3,000 crore uh, net worth. Mm -hmm. And uh, cash is also, you know, more than 2,000 crore. Mm. So therefore, it can do, you know, buyback. Mm. So all this uh, augur well for the stock to, you know. Mm. And plus, as I said, uh, post March result, they hike the manganese ore prices anywhere from 10% to 50% on various grades. Mm. So I, in my view, the June quarterly result should be very good. So considering all these facts, I would uh, suggest a buy. At what point, Ashoka? I mean, you uh, recommended Biocon as a buy a long time back, right? Yeah. At what I, point would you recommend take profits? Uh, I initiated uh, around uh, 3.30, mm. three, three years back, mm. and uh, reiterated my conviction uh, from 450 to 400. Mm. Uh, I am still holding for my clients, even I personally hold in my company small mm. shares. Mm. I, to be very fair, I would not suggest buy, mm. though I am holding. Mm. Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, one can, long-term investors can hold, or those who have a very high exposure, they can realign mm. by slightly cutting it down. Mm. But definitely long-term investors can hold because in the next two, three years, it can even touch a thousand rupees. Mm. But right now, to be fair, the in terms of valuation, uh, you know, it's fairly priced. Fairly priced. Some of your other uh, ideas like JB Chemicals, etc.? In fact, that's what I'm doing. Mm. I'm realigning the uh, Biocon, mm. cutting down the exposure and adding aggressively to JB Chemical. Mm. Uh, because I believe that uh, JB Chemical one day will reward like uh, Biocon. Mm. Fantastic results. After adjusting for exceptional items, still profit growth is around 50% mm. and still sitting on a cash around 300 crore net of debt. Mm. And uh, you know, it's an amazing stock to me. In fact, uh, personally also I hold. Mm. So this is what I am doing now. Even yesterday we bought a good quantity of JB Chemical for our clients. Mm. Uh, you know, by slightly taking money out of Biocon. Do you, have you ever looked at a stock called Indian Terrain? Joker. Yeah, looked at it. It's a good company. Mm. Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, balance sheet is very good. Uh, net cash company. Uh, what is attractive is that uh, consistently it is growing uh, the business uh, in ready-made garments. But uh, you know, valuation is not cheap. So I would, uh, you know, on last two days it jumped to 10%. So whenever it falls slightly below 150, one can definitely buy for long term. Okay, Choka, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Gaurav, thanks very much for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thank you, both of you.